Am I ready to shell out £1,000 for an iPhone X with its exciting new Face ID feature? Of course not. Readers may recall I was keen to take several tech steps back to the retro Nokia 3310 that was relaunched in March, but when I finally plucked up courage to take my unloved iPhone 3 to what turned out to be a car phone warehouse inside a Curry's PC World on the York Bypass, I was so hypnotized by the sales patter that I swiftly lost my willpower. Within moments I had given so much personal data that the salesman as he acknowledged with a thin smile could have emptied my bank account and assumed my identity before I got home. Had I really survived this long without the £10 a month insurance deal on top of my contract OK, sign me up. How about a £19.99 gadget to transform my connectivity on the move sounds great. Only another £25 a month ha, huh? no thanks. And so we went on for an hour or so, until I left with a new contract that costs a third less than the old one, and a new iPhone Shea, almost identical to my previous model but with much longer battery life. That DIDNT cost me a penny even though its manufacturer Apple retails them at £379. This is the modern mode of business that blinds consumers with dynamic pricing complexity overlaid on technical jargon but if you go with the flow, challenge the salesman when he doesn't look you in the eye and keep asking for discounts, you should come out feeling you've snatched a good deal. And feel good is what it's all about, because in the alternative universe of 21st century shopping, you can never really tell when you've just been royally ripped off.